Under crooked Joe Biden, there has been a catastrophic increase in shortages of essential medicines. Last year, new drug shortages were up by 30 percent, with 295 active drug shortages just by the end of 2022 alone. It's a mess. There is currently a shortage of at least 14 critical cancer drugs in the United States. They just can't get it. And every month of delay, cancer treatment increases the risk of death by at least 10 percent. It's unthinkable that this could be happening in the United States of America in 2023. It is truly unbelievable. We are becoming a third world country very rapidly between our open borders and our bad elections. We are third world. But even more dangerously, the top producer of critical medicines that we rely on in the United States is a place called China. China produces 95 percent of all ibuprofen, 91 percent of hydrocortisone, 70 percent of all Tylenol, and nearly half of all penicillin. Can you imagine that? This is not just a public health crisis. It's a national security crisis. As part of my plan to obtain total independence from China, we will phase in tariffs and import restrictions to bring back production of all essential medicines to the United States of America, where they belong. I signed an executive order to begin this process in 2020, but Biden has shamefully failed to follow through. He wants it ended. He wants to take care of China. This is a matter of tremendous urgency. American lives are on the line, and it will be one of my top priorities as president. It will also create countless new American jobs. Thank you.